Hello and welcome to the 78th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we'll be looking at panels with list groups. We'll be using the source code from the 75th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have a panel setup. We can easily add full length list groups. Okay, so let's just show you how easy they are to add. So if we open up our index.html, you'll see well, how useful list groups are as well once we've added them. It's going to add them before the footer, so we have the header, the body, and there we have the footer. Now, now what we're going to do is this here, we're just going to add a unordered list. Unordered list, we're going to take a class of list group. This is all built into Bootstrap, so we don't need to put any CSS for this, which is always good when we don't have to put code. And it's already done for us. And I'm going to add a list item in here. It's going to have a class of list dash group dash item and inside here I'm just going to have some text on but this is a awesome list item and now what we're going to do is just simply copy and paste this a few times yeah five should do for this one I'm going to put not so awesome for well, this one, I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put everybody. Shut up! I've just discovered I'm full length. That's all I've put there. And for the fourth list item, I'm gonna put cookies, more cookies. And for the final one, I'm gonna put cookies, make you fat like. George Lucas. Save that and now we're ready to run this in our web browser. So we scroll down, we have list items, basically our list group and their full length. So if we resize this, as you can see, they actually respond to the browser, which pretty much everything in Bootstrap does, which is great, and they look amazing on a small device and on a big device. As an extra task, remove the panel body and see how the panel with the list group reacts when resizing and also how it looks. And also add the entire panel itself, aka this entire div, inside a row and inside a column so to see how it reacts on a smaller column size. In the next tutorial, we're going to be covering responsive embedding. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. All the required source code will be in the description. To see over 850 completely free videos just like this one, visit sonarlearning.co.uk and get there today and sign up for free, which allows you to take private notes against any video and access them anywhere in the world. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.